Hello boys and girls, this is Professor Nelson from Electronic Speaking. Have you ever run out of soldering paste? Well, today we will learn how to make our own soldering paste with homemade ingredients. I saw a video where they used two ingredients to replace soldering paste. Well, today we are going to test those ingredients, which are a common lemon and a little salt. We are going to mix these two ingredients in a container with a little water. And so we will try to obtain the substitute for our soldering paste. Well, let's start with the mixture. We add a few tablespoons of salt. Then we squeeze the lemon. You must squeeze the whole lemon. We add a little water. And then we beat. Ready, we have our homemade paste. Well, let's put it to the test. Very well, to test our mixture we are going to use a power transistor. We are going to try to solder on its surface. Since these transistors are very difficult to solder if you don't use soldering paste. Therefore, it's going to be quite a challenge for our homemade paste to be able to solder on this surface. So let's test it. Okay, let's test it. To do that, we're going to place a drop of solder right on the surface of our transistor. And now we're going to use our solder. We're not going to use solder. Nothing yet. It doesn't solder. Let's put some more. Let's put some more. Let's try to solder a wire with a little of our homemade solder.
Okay, let's see if I can solder. It seems to be well soldered. The transistor is quite hot. Let's hold it with pliers. And there you can see the solder, it's not good at all. And our homemade paste left us residue. There you can see it. I think it's from the salt and the lemon. However, it did allow us to solder. But it's not a good solder. More or less. It takes a long time, and you have to heat the component too much. I would like to know your opinion. Please comment in the comments section. If you would use this method to do your soldering if you didn't have solder paste. In my opinion, I wouldn't use it. But I wanted to try this method to be able to replace the solder paste. Well, it was a good test. Maybe when you're desperate you can use it. Well guys, that's all. It's something interesting but more or less. If you like the video, don't forget to like it. It helps the channel a lot. See you in the next video. Bye bye.